Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new Share Your Minis. This is the one for the month of August. And after having a lot of problems with my uh, with the um, live bro um, broadcast, I decided to go for the old the way and do it. Uh, uh, record the this and then I will put it on, on my channel as I used to do in the past. So here is the, the video where I, I will share with you the paint jobs of different people. Uh, this is a group you can see here at the top is Victor's uh, miniature um, painting workshop. So it's a group uh, dedicated to uh, to the hobby where you can share your minis. And every month I will try to go through the different paint jobs, give my opinion, and also it's mainly for you to enjoy the different uh, paint jobs of uh, the really good painters that are in these groups. We start with one of the best ones, is Erzan Jovanovic. Well, all of them are good in their own style, right? But uh, we all have our favorite uh, painters. So this is a, a Keeper of Secrets paint by Erzan Jovanovic, also called Grumpy Guy Gaming. Here we have is this, this uh, very curious uh, purple uh, skin tone. But what I like a lot is how he did the metals, very clean metals. I also like the hair. And this pink is really, 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 really nice. So um, it's really a nice paint job. I think it looks great. Uh, and uh, yeah, no much to say about here. I don't know if this orange here a little bit is a, a small mistake or wants to show a reflection. Is the only thing I will say. And the skin, I will give a little bit more of depth. It's very silky anyway. And I like the tights. Yeah, it's around the same color, maybe a little bit darker, but all in all, it's quite a complex method I'm seeing. It's quite, it's going to be quite a complex method to paint, and I think he did a very nice job here. And my favorite part, I will say, is is the pink clothes. Okay, so really nice paint job, and looks uh, really great. I will maybe I will go a little bit whiter in some parts to to strengthen the highlights on the skin. This is the my feedback on this one, but really an uh, excellent paint job. Let's go to the next one. I will rush a little bit because I don't have <laughs> too much time now. So here we have this skeleton. This is from Richard uh, Granger. Uh, I think it's painted in the classical colors with these flames on the shoulder pads. And then, uh, yeah, a very subtle highlights on the black. Uh, I think it's a very nice paint job. I'm really looking forward to see the full team, how it looks like. But so far, it looks very promising. Uh, yeah, I will say that uh, the only thing I will do the opposite is the flames. I know that normally the flames will start with the core lighter than the uh, extreme, but then these guys are decorating flames. So if you want to achieve better contrast, it's better to put the red and then put the yellow as uh, in the border. But all in all, a uh, very nice paint job. So let's go to the next one. And sorry, we had to do it live, but it was completely nightmare and was not working well. And on top, uh, my computer crashed in the middle of the streaming. Although the song, the song was bad, so everything was going well. But I will look for next time to see how I can do it better. So here we have this is the, uh, another great painter, Eskidville. He's uh, doing a lot of uh, Raging Heroes miniatures. I don't know if this one is from Raging Heroes. I will check very fast. So this is from Rackham, okay, so this is, uh, and, but she's looking very slim, very nice, and she, he's doing a lot of um, female miniatures. Uh, I love the skin, I like a lot the knife, the only thing I think is not the same level is the hair, looks flat compared to the rest of, of the paint job to me, but uh, I think it's a very nice paint job, I like a lot this um, flute there and here we have how the meter looks like before painting okay so yeah excellent uh, mini tool excellent paint job and i will ask you to relook i will if i was you i will relook the hair i think it's looking a little bit flat or the level that you can deliver here we have another mini tool this is from again richard granger he's posting quite the different uh, variety of miniatures uh, this is one of the uh, underworld um, blood bone guys okay uh, and yeah he says jumping uh, 
into Underworld with Garrick uh, Gorbert, so he's the uh, yeah, this is the leader of the Warband. We'll go down in that because the picture is bigger, to be fair. Uh, I think the skin is really nice. Uh, I guess the eyes, he does not want to the eyes. I like how he did the black. I think all is, is quite a nice job. The only thing I will, uh, yeah, my feedback will be it's, it's just try to, uh, I don't know, I think this is too evident, these highlights on the gray. Okay. But I like a lot how it looks like, and I think you did a very nice paint job here as well. Uh, let's go to the next one. And here we have this is from Eric Beer or Eric 40k, Nick Beer, so it depends a lot. And he did these orcs. I think these orcs are not for him, if I'm not wrong. Uh, recently painted for Richard, so they are painted for Richard Morgan. And I like a lot, they are super colorful. So this is the same miniature three times. But he managed to give uh, each of them their own personality with the colors. I think the staff is in put in different direction. I don't know if this is done in purpose of he, but the staff, it's nice that the staff is not always the same. I like a lot the punk uh, squeak that has on the base and, and they look excellent. Uh, I like a lot the highlights. The feathers are very nicely done and and the skin, I think maybe the best part is the orc skin. So you really nail it, Edic. Oh, and I love this cape. So really excellent job. I don't have too much to add to this. So you did an excellent job on these guys. And here we have more orcs. This is the the Matasanos, and how it's called this dog. And this is the one of the I think it's the boss of the flesh east, if I'm not wrong. But they look really, really nice. I like a lot this sword. So it's really, uh, they are quite a complex miniature with a lot of details. Look, the sharing with this level there, nicely done. Okay. So it's it's really looking good. Uh, I love what you have done. And I think you, you this highlight here looks, uh, it's working very well. It's, it's I think it's, I love the meters that you did here. I think they look incredibly good, um, Nick. So excellent job. I think these are really nice. So here we have from Agustin Logato. Uh, these are some nine hounds. So these are spirit horse. Okay, a very nice ghostly effect on them. Uh, I will, you can add more white if you want. You can add a little bit of dry brush. I will I even recommend dry brush of white at the extreme of these things, right? So to make more pale the end, uh, maybe in the face to make the face pop up a little bit more. But they look very nice. I love the bases. I think the bases are not too popular, but uh, they, they are, mm, yeah. Here's this cover with the middle, and also this one looks really good. The gray, I think here you did just dry brushing on gray, it's looking a little bit dirty. Maybe you can put, I would recommend maybe you can do a wash with noon oil to smooth some of the dry brushing. I think will give a, a, a good effect. And you can extreme if you want a little bit more the washed effect. You can do another layer of white if you want. But uh, they look quite nice. Uh, the, this is contrasting very nicely with the bones of the rest, and I think it's quite a nice paint job. This is the only thing I will I will add. It looks very dusty. You can do a, a maybe a wash with an oil, and you will make this look less dusty. And if this is the effect that you were looking for, that to look very old is also working. And I think, yeah, it's it's quite a, a big piece, and I think it looks nice. Just the type, the tips I want to give is just for the people to improve. It's not a criticism. It's just how I will improve the paint jobs. I will not spend time on mine, as I want to dedicate. I don't have too much time. I want to dedicate the time to the viewers' uh, paint jobs uh, because I already talk about mine in my channel. So these are from uh, Justin Hunchback. I think these yeah, are Yetis, if I'm not wrong. I think this, these are Yetis or uh, two weeks painting board uh, box. I decided to relax and paint on uh, a uh, way to rescue a citadel pewter over the ice bro hunter, an old 
Ogre Kingdoms Gorger. Okay, I'm not very familiar with these miniatures, but uh, he looks very scary. Uh, yeah, looks. I, I like the paint job again. I think the the skin is nicely done. You can, if you want, add a little bit more highlights. The 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 tabard, uh, the tabard is nicely done. The black hair is also good, looking good. And, and I think adding this red on the skin is is really a nice. No, I think it's it's really nice paint job. So well done, Justin, on this guy. He looks scary, as he should do. And this guy also. And and look. Have a lot of nice details like the oxidation on this type of shield. The blue parts are very striking, and it's good that you have put it in different parts. I think this helps to move the eye around, and the face is very expressive. I like a lot the beard and the this type of fur or pelt he has. And I see at the back also this is very nicely done. This uh, leathery part. So. I think it's it's I really like what you see, what I see here and not much to add so excellent job adjusting hunchback thanks for sharing here we have uh, more work from uh, Richard Granger uh, week dawn uh, of my road to mortarium pledge so here we have uh, some death guard painted okay uh the he has also doing this basis i will recommend you to do maybe a small wash on this base it looks too flat right uh i will do maybe a wash with um seraphine sepia will give some brown tonalities will we'll combine very well with this will make it to look better uh because i have used this color as well or similar and i i recommend you to do very thin wash of, and then it will make some also shades and that and I, I think it will combine very nicely but the miniatures are really nice they are very well done they have this uh, nasty dirty paint job because it's, dirty, it's nice it's I mean it's clean but it gives the nastiness of, of the of the that guard and I think it's 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 a nice job and if I don't remember but these are here. They, here we have some pictures, but these are not that good. So a nice, nice um, paint jobs, uh, and they look great. So uh, I want to see more of you, and if you do mortarium, I'm looking forward to see it. But I will say that on the base, just add a little bit of seraphine sepia. It will add a lot to this green, and I think it will look much better. Here we have more paint jobs from Erzan Jovanovic. He's doing a lot of this. And knights and titans for uh, Adeptus Titanicus. So these are uh, Castus knights for Adeptus Titanicus. Nice models. They look quite scary as well. So and he has done this paint, this type of color skin before. Uh, I think he's really mastering the paint job on this, giving this weathered effect. So they look really that they are fighting, not overdoing. Because also weathering, the important thing is not to overdo. Uh, but it's giving this, uh, but it's integrating them well on the battlefield by adding this uh, weathering in some places like here. You see, small, small chip paint here, here. Also, the, I will say the gold maybe is the flatter part, the brass part. You can add maybe some uh, shade uh, or around the some of the rivets to put some brown shading. But all in all, they look uh, very nice as well. You see the. Paint chip is nicely done, but it, uh, it's adding a lot. Here is more weathered. Maybe the picture is not making justice. And sometimes some colors are not giving a very nice contrast when you do pictures. Uh, I like a lot on, on the white how the weathering here. This one on the top is it's really nicely done. Okay, and I think uh, he's painting a lot of these nights. He has uh, some commissions as well on painting them. So here I have more of my stuff, as I said, I don't want to spend time now, as I don't have too much time. Here we have these um, orcs, just, let me check one thing. So now we are with some uh, bikes from uh, Grumpy Gay Gaming, 
uh, he's mastering the paint job on on uh, Erzatan as well. He's mastering some of these album moons, and he's mastering the yellow on the on the ox. I think he's it's really doing a great job. And I realize yellow it can be a hard color to paint sometimes, but it's a color that it's very nice for weathering. Okay, the browns, the paint, the chipping paint, and all this type of stuff will work very well on yellow. You can see all this uh, dirtiness added there here on the shoulder pad. Uh, this works very well on yellow. On red, it's going to be much harder to say. Uh, red is easier to paint in a way, but it's more difficult because it's so a mid-tone that browns are not popping up as they can do on yellow, on whites, on greys. So, and this is why yellow is an excellent color to do these bikes as well. Okay, from artistic point of view, I know that the orcs go faster in red, anyway. But the, yeah, really nice, the skin is also very nicely done, so they, they look excellent. He paints, I don't know how many orcs, and he knows how to paint orcs, really. This is my army of Nighthound, as I said, I want to focus on the other people, so this is the out. I was Austin, sorry, Austin Logato. He's posting quite regularly as well, and he has a lot of Night Hound painted. These are the um, Glyph Stalkers. Okay, and I, um, yeah, this is the guy with the Tam Tam. So nicely done. I think the, the, maybe they are, the picture is a little bit overexposed, but I like a lot this green, and for me, and also the weathered weapons. So uh, the brown here, I think you can, uh, it's not looking, I will go more for ochre for this type of, for this part of, of the, of the, this drum, right? But I think, and yeah, I like the dustiness and look dusty of, of the, of the clothes. They look old, they look scary and they look ethereal. This maybe it's a little a little bit too dusty. I don't know if it's the dry brushing. You have a lot of texture everywhere. Uh, on the hair is the part where I will not go that dusty as it looks here. Okay, I know that it's quite magnified because this middle is not that big. I like a lot their eyes. I think you did a very nice job on the eyes. I think that this type of uh, effect goes well on the clothes and the rest and the face. I will not do it on the hair. I think for the hair, I will go more for uh, like an edge highlight, more uh, a different type of techniques. But uh, it's looking quite nice as well. Okay, it's, it's a nice miniature. And I think I should pick one for my army. And I think this is the best guy of the ones that you are displaying now. And looks like that you have magnetized the, the uh, hands to be able to have. Uh, the two options, right? Yes, here we have with the other option. Uh, nice lid on. I think the, this green with the bone and the purple they combine very well. Uh, and the only thing you can add a little bit of brown on the weapon. Okay, uh, not as as weathered as the ones from the um, Glyph Stalkers, but you can add a little bit of brown. The shading because it looks quite flat the weapon okay, a little bit of wash of air shade very soft it will give a very nice touch there bones nicely done i think and, and yeah this, they look quite scary with all these schools there so nice nice paint job anyway they look very nice miniatures and they will look excellent on the battlefield so thanks for sharing austin and looking forward to see more next month because I like a lot of what you paint. Again, more of my minis, not to show. Okay, we have from Richard the Ranger. I like a lot this. Uh, I think he did an excellent job on these ones. The skin is looking put far. It's looking bad. Uh, you can put more pictures, Richard, next time. You always put just one picture of each of your paint jobs. Uh, we, you can put more pictures so then we can see them from different angles. As I said in the previous one, do, do a soft wash of Seraphine Sepia. It will improve a lot this green and will make it look even nastier. 
okay because we look like uh, we make like um, yeah water effects or something like that on, on the on this green and I think we will we will give a very nice combination I like a lot this guy here uh, with the the dressing orange and black thing uh, but the best part is this skin with these purples I think you you nail it there it looks really 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 nice thanks for sharing Richard this is more of my paint jobs I have been a very productive month for me okay, we see uh, and just you can also share if you want if you have any blog or videos you and I'm it's welcome to be shared here here we have again from Austin Logato and more of these who oh, these guys are called I don't remember these are Morgas yeah Morgas so here we have again magnetized to be able to have the two options very clever from this side and uh, I will give just the same feedback as before add a little bit of brown shading on these weapons it will look less flat because now it looks like just uh, too flat compared to the rest of the meter that is very nicely painted okay nicely done yeah they look really really great and this time I see them I see new, new details I have not realized this type of a spirit cell before so excellent and here we have the lady uh, lady Olander. so and you add this this is very clever from your side I think this is a, this is something that yeah I should have done because this miniature is very wobble okay so this will add a lot of uh, uh, yeah, will minimize a lot the vibration of this meter because when you try to paint this meter, everything is wobbling, trembling, it's difficult. I love the green and will match so well with your army. I think you have done very nice. I think it may be the best green you have done. It's, it's completely mixed and you have pop up the face here, it's visible. So, real nice. Well done, and I like a lot the idea of using this, uh, uh, these pillars or this part of the. Uh, mausoleum to add more uh, support to the miniature really, really nice yeah and here we have the corpse chariot i think it's called i think the, the picture is a little bit overexposed to bright but nice work on the wood okay, i will add some oxidation on the bell this in type of green blush oxidation the zombies look really nasty i think you have, again uh, i like a lot the on death the chart this chart is not one of my best i love miniatures but i think all in all you did a good job we have more we have more of my miniatures as i said i managed to paint a lot this month and this is from uh justin uh hunchback here we have this is uh, the Deathbringer, Exalted Deathbringer with um, I think with a spear or glaive. Uh, he's adding also this blue, and I think this is better than the Garrick. If it was the same. I like a lot the skin. I think you have done a very nice job. The skin is popping up very nicely. This black is nicely highlighted as well. Excellent job, Justin looks looks uh, really nice love what you have done here looks excellent and yeah it's a pleasure to see these paint jobs i have not seen it i think i missed this before so i will give you a like i think it's deserved it uh, i will review later on and this is all for this month so i just rush a little bit sorry for that but I really wanted to just focus on your miniatures. If you want to see my paint jobs or you have any question, uh, I will uh, appreciate. And uh, and if you want to join the group, this will be in the description below. You can, will have the link. Uh, I, I'll have it in normal videos. In normal videos, you can find the link to this group. I hope you have enjoyed, enjoyed this one. Sorry for all my technical problems. And at the end, I had to go to the always. But uh, yeah, that's all for now. So as usual, thanks a lot for watching and I hope next month I can do it in the right way. Bye.